Oh my god. Can you believe it? It's time to go b b b back in time. We did Metal Gear Solid 3. Metal, let me re say that. We did Metal Gear Solid 3. We did Metal Gear Solid 2. And we did Metal Gear Solid. Well, we did Twin Snakes, which is a remake of one. But we basically did Metal Gear Solid 1. But you know what we haven't done on stream yet? We haven't gone back further to the original, to the origin of the Metal Gear. Yes, Fack. Metal, no, not that. We're talking about Metal Gear. Yes, Metal Gear. The movie. The game. Contains expressions and themes which may be considered outdated. Uh-oh. Please play in a lit room while sitting or standing is far away. Uh-oh. You wish to play this game? Uh-oh. <laughs> I ain't reading that. So interestingly, the the other games are all on their separate, like, launch. They have their own separate launch files or whatever. But Metal Gear 1 and 2 looks like they're actually bundled together. 1995 Outer Heaven Uprising. So they reference back to these games. Like, these are actually canon to the overall... Uh, story from what i know and i have actually played the first metal gear on the nes version which i think the story is pretty much the same it's just kind of a busted version uh but it'll be interesting it's been a long time since i played the first metal gear like it's it's been these probably 10 plus years i would say yep that is where well, that's the funny thing, Fack. At least in the NES game, Gray Fox is such an inconsequential character. Like, he's just there for a second. Like, he's just one of many, like, people, like, POWs that you save. From what I remember. But for the MSX version might be a little different. I guess we'll, uh... Maybe we'll find out. I'm kind of curious what... Oh, hang on. Hey, let's just, let's just beat the- I thought there was like the booklet though, can't you look at the booklet? Oh, you know what, I have to pick the game first. Let's... Push. Here we go, online manual. Let's look at the booklet real quick. It's funny, because cause Fak was literally like suggesting that I should start doing this with retro games. Where we like check the booklet out. Such a good idea too, I don't know why I never thought to do that. I, I love retro game booklets. Oh, it's the freaking box. Look at that. Yo, look at the OG Foxhound logo. Unless they still... Still looks like that. I think it's a little different now. Operation Intrude. Oper Operation. Okay. Uh... We... Trying to like read some of this. Uh, kid, guy, having trouble. Let's see here. Maybe this. Uh. Taku, tak, kick, good, tactical, tactical, road, 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 okay, tactical, tactical, all needed. It's basically that sums it up. Hey, sleepy. Hey, Eric. Good to see you. Okay. 
In the late 1980s, a mercenary said to be heroic and possibly crazy. Oh, this is great. I think they kept the original translation. Because <laughs> that is such a... That's so good already. Uh, establish a fortified state called Outer Heaven in a remote area of South Africa. And now there is a move... There is movement in Outer he Heaven. Isn't there also an Outer Haven? Isn't that a different thing too? Uh, there are rumors that they are developing a weapon of mass destruction so terrifying it could change the face of warfare for the entire world. Operative Gray Fox, a member of the Special Forces Group. Sorry, let me restart that. Uh, Operative Gray Fox, a member of the Special Forces Group Foxhound, is dispatched to gather information on this WMD. However, several days later, he goes missing, leaving only his last transmission. Metal Gear. <laughs> of course. Uh, is Gray Fox's dis disappearance proof that the rumors of the WMD are true? Foxhound is tasked with a mission once again. This time, the Foxhound operative will be the newly recruited rookie Solid Snake. So he's brand new. He's green. His mission will be to follow up on Gray Fox's disappearance, investigate the true nature of Metal Gear, and destroy it. Solid Snake will head in enemy territory for the very first time, alone and equipped with only a transceiver. It's rumored that the best mercenaries from all over the world can be found in Utter Heaven. Will Solid Snake be able to successfully complete his mission? Foxhound Commander-in-Chief Big Boss's voice crackles over the transceiver. Solid Snake! Isn't that funny? If you think about it, Solid Snake and Big Boss sound exactly the same. Because we've heard how Big Boss sounds in 3. So it's like, Big Boss, I've, I'm have i on the island. Oh, that's great, Solid Snake. I'm glad you're on the island. Huh. I just noticed we sound very similar. It's probably a coincidence. Because I don't think you know that Big Boss is his dad at this point. Or his, you know, the clone shenanigans. Um... Alright. That's cool. I don't- I've never- I didn't have the booklet for this on the NES version even, so I never got to read the little story intro. It actually helps give you a little more context. I know your- your voice does tend to change over time, but I think it would still be pretty... It's not unusual for a son to sound similar to their father. Well, that's the thing, Christmas stuff. We've confirmed in Metal Gear Solid 3 that they sound exactly the same. In fact, I was actually listening out to see if there was, like, many differences between anything, like their inflections or their personalities. And for the most part, it really seems like it's the same performance. I'm just gonna get... Into the, it, it's pretty simple from what I remember. I mean, it's there's two buttons and a D-pad. Start and select. Well, actually, the MSX... No, I think the MSX2 also only has two buttons and a D-pad. I think it's actually very similar to the NES controller from what I remember. Oh yeah, it looks exactly like it almost. It just has like... Like a pseudo joystick looking... Uh, I, know, I know Big Boss isn't his dad, but clearly the genetics were strong enough that the accent carried over. Or the voice, rather. Um, alright, here we go. The original Metal Gear. Original or easy or back? I wonder what back is. There is a noticeable input lag when you press up and down. I hope it's just the menu. Like, it's really... Holy crap. I think it's, you need to, it's, you know what it is? I don't think that there's lag. I think it's, you need to hold the button for longer than like a half a second and then it moves. Weird. Okay. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that was us. Okay. I wasn't sure what I was looking at at first. Wait, it starts here? Okay, you, 
This is already really different. This is Big Boss. Operation Intrude N313. Infiltrate the enemy's base outer heaven and destroy the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. This looks really different already. The cinematic input lag. Let's go over the details first. Make contact with Grey Fox and find the location of the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Frequency 12085, the classic frequency where you always contact your, your like, director. So this is already very different. There is like a tiny bit of lag with the beard. That's okay. Um, okay, punch. And then... I think the other button is for when you have weapons equipped, which we don't have anything right now as far as I know. Yeah. Um, so in the NES version, you actually... What was that? Cigarettes. Of course, even in the first game. Surgeon General's warning, cigarette smoking may be hazardous to your health. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a lot of snakes. So in the, in the NES version, you parachute out into a forest, like not a forest, like a jungle, uh, along with two other soldiers that you never see again and they're never mentioned unless they, they could just be some of the POWs that you save because you save several. But here it's like, yeah, this is, this is interesting. I'm trying to remember how to answer that. Oh no, I didn't answer it. He's gonna get mad at me now. Select. This is Big Boss. The mission is infiltration. Make sure that the enemy does not discover your whereabouts. Over. Wow. It's crazy how, I, how the starting point is so different. You actually scuba tank in like freaking Metal Gear Solid 1, yes? Oh, okay, he's just repeating. Venom? Venom is a... <laughs> I didn't realize that Marvel's Venom was one of these snakes. I don't know. Oh, we should be able to go into the backs of these trucks. Yeah. Look how huge the inside is. Good thing I remembered that, because I did not think to... I didn't even think of that being a thing right now. And then I remembered in the, in the one I played, you can go into the backs of the trucks. There's a guy in there. You wanna sneak up behind and just beat the crap out of him. See? Easy peasy. So we're not doing a no a, no, a non-lethal run. Let's see. So what did I just pick up? Cards. Ah oh, hell yeah, we already got we already got a security card. Now, I forget if I need to equip this, though. I don't remember. Yeah, it is equipped now. Okay, so as long as I have that on, I think I can put through doors. You see the class star down there? The more people you kill, it's like an XP thing, like level, rather. Each person you kill will go towards, like, some invisible XP meter, and your class will go up, and then you... I think your health bar gets longer. I don't remember what other benefits there are. Right, this is interesting. Um, it allows you to see from screens away. But like they said, you can't be indoors. So, I can see that they're over there. Dogs are up there. And I can't look right or down. Whoops. Uh, 
Man, I wish I could just play this with the, uh... Well, you know what? Oh, what the hell? Did he just come out of the truck? The trucks are empty. I was looking around because I was thinking, oh, maybe if I play this with the Joy-Con, this might feel better. Because this is really... This feels really cumbersome using a Pro Controller. Because there's like so many extra buttons that I don't actually need to worry about. I need to watch my replay. Did that guy come out of the truck? He did come out of the truck. What the hell was that nonsense? All right. Oh, look, we could save. That's cool. Save me getting... ambushed by that guy who just manifested. You know what? I, I, I don't know if it's because this is a, I mean, like a simulated like collection version. I swear NES Metal Gear feels better than this. That's going to probably sound sacrilegious, blasphemous, but diehard Metal Gear fans, but just from what I remember, like it, it doesn't feel this laggy. But I mean, there's a chance it could just be this collection that this version's like the. Shift change. I can open this door. Oh, yeah, the occasional, like, little 2D section. They, they do. I, I'm starting to think now that. They basically, it, it, like, maybe they follow the same story, but the games themselves seem like they're almost completely different at this point. This is Big Boss. Watch out for the surveillance cameras. Over. But, like, when you're, when you're punching people, for instance... Uh-oh, I screwed. <laughs> I did not listen to his warning at all, did I? I'm probably gonna die, and that's fine. Oh my god, it feels so bad just trying to run. That's so weird. Holy crap. Am I... Am I going to learn from this? Oh, they actually checkpointed me. I feel like all I'm learning that I might actually like the NES version better. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because I saw your blasphemous comment, but then when I I started talking about the differences between the two games, so that when you brought that up, I yeah, that's what I thought you were responding to. Mm. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? I have to get past it. Oh my god, you punch so slowly. I'm telling you. The NES version, so far, for me, feels better. Oh, that just led... All that did was lead it around in a circle. Okay, they respawn. Oh, there's a door to the right over there. Did I open that? I don't remember. Man, it's so... care anymore. Okay, I better take a ration. I don't know what's in that box, though. Wait, I can't care anymore what? What is that? That's a horrible explanation. So is that a new item that I just can't carry? Because I don't have, like... What do you mean I can't carry anymore? I don't have whatever that is. Oh boy, here we go. Back, that is, that's the obvious thing, which what I thought, so I made room by eating my ration, and it didn't, 
and, and it looks like I have tons of space. And in my other section, I have... It's completely empty, so it's it's not that. That's why I was questioning, like, okay, what, what does it mean then? Yeah, I don't know. I, I clearly have... And I don't remember that being a pro... Like, like... At some point, I didn't need to throw away my binoculars so I could then pick up another equipment. It must mean something else. I just don't know. It could be ammo for a gun I don't have, and they're just saying I can't carry anymore, but really they just mean you can't pick this up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but like, it's just a really bad way of describing that. I can't carry anymore, but maybe that's what they mean. Oh, here we go, our first POW. I'm saved. I think you also get experience for saving the POWs. I think I remember leveling up off of those sometimes. Here, let's, uh, let's save real quick. Oh. No one answered. We'll just use this then. Oh, uh, this is exactly the same save hub as Metal Gear Solid 3. So we I guess they just the collection just shares that same. Oh right, right, you need a gas mask for that room, but they don't tell you until you're actually in the room and you're dying. Wow, look at how much health I lost. I'm just gonna let it kill me, screw it. I just saved. But yeah, I, this is an infamous room, the same room as in the NES game. Wait, what? Okay. I thought they would take me to where my last save was, but they took me where the last checkpoint was. Or they didn't! What? What did I even save for? What? What was the point of me saving if it didn't actually save anything? Oh boy. Saying a good start. Okay, so down there there's a POW, so I should save him. I don't know, I thought you would want to stick close to the wall so the camera couldn't see you. But... When I tried to run right under it, 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 it alerted, so now I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. I want us to be far away from the camera. There we go. There we go. I'm thinking too much of like the 3D Metal Gear where you can hug the wall and then the cameras won't see you. Snake is camera shy. Mike, I hate to say this. So far, the NES version of this game feels a lot better to play. I don't know if it's just like this version, like this this like collections version, but the the inputs are so laggy that just punching and like running around feels so awkward. And in the NES version, it feels a lot better. So I'm a little I'm a little worried now. The NES version is smoother. Okay, so it's not just. I'm not just going crazy. God damn it! I forgot. I got distracted. I distracted myself. There was- that was the gas room. Okay, let's try that again. Metal Gear 2 will be much better. Okay. So that's the one we're really looking forward to is what you're saying. Alright. Do you think I'll be able to beat this in one stream? It probably depends on how much I screw up. Alright, so this time... Rescue the POW. Two streams? Okay. Click Necto about four hours. I mean, I've done four hour streams. It just depends on how 
the progress is looking. All right, let me, I'm just gonna use that ration right away. Why don't I beat some of these guys up? In this version, do you increase your rank by killing people? Like, like it, it kind of. God damn it! Okay, we don't have the right card for this door yet. Uh, saving POWs and and killing enemies, right? That should increase your your rank, and then you'll get more health. From what I remember. the card for this one. Uh-oh. I know they were both gonna go down. Oh, nice. That worked out. Okay, we don't have the card for this. At least that still works. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to... find a different area. It's crazy that uh, our our uh, director our, our boss in this game that's telling us what to do was the snake in Metal Gear Solid 3 that we were playing as. Okay, so just rescuing prisoners? Alright. Maybe you just weren't killing people like me. When I was in the NES version, I was killing everyone. <laughs> ah, damn it! I was trying to just get to that guy and that... Whatever I just picked up... Kinda screwed me up. What was that? Oh, mines? Okay, nice. Oh, no. I don't want to go in there. Ooh, a gun. Hell yeah. Finally. No ammo, though. If only we could have picked up that ammo. And be fitted with the suppressor, even back then. I do not remember suppressors in the NES version. That's kind of crazy. I that they made A punch and then Y is... I don't think there was a anything in that. Uh oh. Oh boy. I don't think there was anything in that middle truck, right? But I might as well check. Oh, okay. Oh, we're dead. I forgot. What, did you just need to get far enough away, I guess? Man, I hope they don't send me all the way back to the elevator. Oh, oh, okay, on the way back, though. So we, we have already rescued the POW at this point. So for whatever reason, this, this little Elevator room seems to be a checkpoint. We do want to come back over here. I sh guess I should have went here before I went up. Then I would have found that gun. Mines. I could go back for that ammo, but... Whoa, that was good. Ooh, yo, he dropped ammo, hell yeah. I'm talking. Now we, we actually have a chance of surviving if we go on alert mode again. I'm gonna keep just hitting soldiers for now, just in case that does count towards your rank. Okay, we were here before. Um, 
the city. Okay. Oh, oh, you can just come back here for rations? Hell yeah. I don't suppose you could... What? Okay, I didn't realize that. That's the trick right there. You want to keep... Stock up on rations. Forget how many you can hold. Oh, that's the first thing. It's not letting me take any more, though. I guess that's my health max, even though I can't. Um, even though the bar is only halfway full. And then up here were just the dogs and a fence. Yes, yeah, so I can't go that way. been to the right yet, have we? Over here. Come on in here. So if there's suppressors, then you probably don't want to be shooting a gun in a room with, like, more than one guy. There's the gas mask. Yawn, I'm sleepy. Oh, he didn't say, I feel asleep after waking up. He's supposed, to, he's supposed to say, I fell asleep after they wake up. But in the NES version, he says, I feel asleep. There we go. Yeah, he feel asleep. Ah, damn it. I should have been more- Oh, good. That was a zone where we're safe now. Okay, so now I have the gas mask. I should have went to the right first. I didn't know that. Now we have gas mask. It's funny that- <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess we're not going on full alert right now. I just- I don't know what dictates on if something's a full alert or not. Um, but what I was gonna say was, it's funny that they decided to keep the, the the gas room, the freaking sneaky beginner's trap gas room in both versions of the game. Oh, they're blocking the elevator now. They weren't blocking that before, but I need to I need to go in there to get to the gas mask area, so. They're gonna have to go. I have to use my gun here. Well, that's fine. The bullets came out so slow. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Big boss, I know. There should be a scene where Solid Snake is like, Ah oh, man, these rations are gross. And then Big Boss is like, Do you know how many wild animals I had to eat when I was on the job? I ate a scorpion. I ate a goat. All right, so gas mask. Oh, actually, it's extra sneaky because you need the card equipped to open the door, and then you, and then immediately before you go in, put on the gas mask. There we go. I didn't even hear him talk about it. I just remember. This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. You'll need a gas mask for the gas room. Snyder, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you where to get a gas mask. Oh, oh. And I know Snyder's uh, radio channel, right? The answer is no, I don't. Wow, Big Boss didn't even answer me. What a jerk.
I'm gonna have to switch to the card again. Then the right card. Ah. Hey, another POW. Thanks for saving me. The Foxhound member that infiltrated this base a few days ago is unharmed. They captured him. Okay. Just a, a cylinder, just a giant cylinder rolling back and forth in a room. I, I can't make any sense of it. But there it is. What is the plastic explosive? I think that's how you fight Metal Gear, actually. Correctly. I'm worried that the controls are gonna get me killed right now. This this might kill you instantly too. Only one could be set. Ah! That was scary. Uh oh. Oh no! I'm all on alert mode now. Dude, go away! Ah! Alert mode is still going. I thought being in the big cylinder room would help, but apparently not. Great. Oh my god, you shoot your gun so slowly. Like a sick joke. Now, I don't know... Do you just have to wait a while, then they forget? That's probably what it is, right? In other instances, all you had to do was move one screen away, and then they forgot. doesn't look like they're forgetting. You have to kill them all or leave the screen. Well, sometimes I leave the screen and they don't. Let's see. Yeah, they don't care. What? Your bullet doesn't even go that far? Oh my god. What kind of bullet just stops after like flying five feet? Even BB guns pellets go farther than that. Did the NES version come out? Yeah, of course it did. The NES version would have came out after this one. But like you said, that this is older hardware, right? Oh boy. They can't go in there. But I gotta look out for the camera, so I need to... Right, right, this is the original version, right? but this room is way too open. I'm like paranoid. I know there's there's traps. Oh, we got the level two card. Hell yeah. We, we need to start checking each kind of card on each door. Ah, we could try it on that door. Not counting any changes they made to this port, which there are a few. Oh, translation, really, because it seemed like a lot of the translation wasn't too different, because it was just, there's some funny wording. Like in the opening, they were like, a, a foxhound member who was known as being heroic and crazy was sent off. I think they were talking about Gray Fox. Oh well, hell yeah, we got full rations. Okay, electric floor. Oh, yeah, this is where we need the Nikita, right? I forgot to tell you. In order to turn off the juice, you'll have to destroy the electrical power panel. You'll need an RC missile. Snyder, the leader of the resistance. 
What is Schneider's? Uh, we tried. We looked at the booklet, but I didn't see anything about Schneider. Metal in general has weird words. Uh, yeah. There's heavy metal. There's death metal. Doom metal. Frog metal. There's thrash metal. There's symphonic metal. There's bubonic metal. My favorite things in games are when soldiers look at walls as if that's part of their... What? Oh no! Oh no, I didn't checkpoint because I didn't go to the elevator room, probably. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. All that progress. I had all those rations, too. I don't know why. I didn't realize my health was so low. This port is based on the old flip phone Japanese port of the game, which is part of the reason it feels a little sluggish. Okay, why would they do that? Why the hell would they use the freaking flip phone version? I would have been better off emulating the MSX2, the original version. That sucks, man. We just lost all that progress. Ah, screw you. I'm just gonna try to brute force this. Wait, I already have the mask, right? Yeah. Probably the only version they had. I mean, I've heard a lot of things about... I mean, look, Konami is... We know Konami will... Konami kind of sucks sometimes, right? It's, I, I think it's not unreasonable to think maybe they could have used the better version, but they just did what was ever the easiest possible thing instead. How come they never brought back the giant rolling cylinder for any of the Metal Gear Solid games? Or, or maybe it's in 4 and 5 and I just don't know. Could be... completely not know about it. I feel like that would have been brought up though. Like, that's so ridiculous. It's just a giant rolling cylinder... in a room. Unless otherwise stated, I assume all games made before the year 2000 had their source code lost in a basement flood. Uh, apparently not all of Nintendo's games, because they've been able to part them all basically perfectly. Whoops, why did I fire a gun? I just said earlier you probably don't want to fire a gun in a room with more than one person. It's okay, we lived. Everything's fine. All, all according to plan. Nintendo always has like their whole catalog available for like each system like even going back to the GameCube like you could play a bunch of NES games on Animal Crossing uh, although actually Animal Crossing was an N64 game in Japan originally um, and then in the Wii you had all the Wii Wear all the, uh, the Wii uh, retro emulators you had the uh, you. They're not native ports. Uh, well, who said that this had to be a native port? They could have, they could have emulated the MSX2 game, and it probably would have been 
you know, if it plays better and it looks better and there's not problems, why not? It's not like this is a... It's not like this had to be native or whatever. I do know that the sunshine in the Mario All-Stars 3D collection apparently was a, uh... Actually, what am I doing? I need to... Just stock up on rations. I keep distracting. I, I'm horrible at multitasking, you'll have to excuse me. Unless I'm playing something that I'm incredibly familiar with already. So I should clarify, I'm horrible at multitasking when it comes to things that I'm not 100% Um... Turned around right at me, it was too late. Uh, what was I saying? God damn it. Oh, well. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, I never picked up the plastic explosive. Oh, yeah, yeah, apparently, Sunshine. Apparently, they just used a ROM for that. Oh, wait, I guess I did pick it up, it's just it respawned. Yeah. You're shocked at this new information. Yeah. I know, you couldn't- how could you think that old Jay would be bad at multitasking? Okay, I'm gonna put my rations on this time. I should be- what am I doing? I should just shoot them. I'm not being sneaky right now. Alright, and now I should be able to go through this door. I couldn't before. Oh. Yo, it's the Nikita. That's exactly what we needed. Or it's RC missile in this one. You know, not inaccurate. So just going through the elevator again. Apparently the elevator is a checkpoint. Uh, oh god! I forgot that was the gas room. Man, they start killing you quick too. In fact, you have to take damage too, because like right here, for instance, it's a little bit, but like still, I don't even know, like that. <laughs> mean. Oh, I might be able to go through that other door now that I couldn't before. I should check it out. Damn it! Everything's fine, everything's... everything's... Hey, look at that. I hope I level up. No? Rescue, that's it, he didn't have anything to say. Now, I'm trying to remember where the, the electrical... Wait. Wasn't the electrical room um, back past the gas room? Wasn't that where we were? Because I, I remembered seeing that before I died, but I didn't. I hadn't come back through here yet. So yeah, I think we go back there. games with fantastical creatures they'll have the, their version of poison toxic venom attacks recently been playing xenosaga where their standard poison attack is mustard gas holy crap that's uh that's something all right It must have been somewhere over here. Maybe not. Maybe I saw the electricity way earlier and I'm just going back for no reason. It's also very possible. 
Like that he doesn't notice that his friend's missing. Okay, you can go back up now. God damn it. Point. Oh my god, okay. Alright, fine. Guys. Try to find me in the ration room? Crazy. I'm thinking if I go up there, that's where the electric filled room was. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, I think it's it is good we turned around. Oh god. Damn. I don't know why I thought the camera was gonna stop. Those automatically heal you, but I was just Sometimes you want to just get off screen and then go back on screen in a different section to kind of reset your position. Oh, he dropped a ration. Okay. I didn't that. You might be able to carry more rations once your level goes up as well. Alright, so. Now. We can use this. Trying to account for the lag. Hell yeah. First try. I'm sure we could have went back to the earlier area and used the level 2 card, but... Ah, oh, you gotta destroy it again, but it's... Hopefully we rank up. Still not. Thank you for helping me. Diane from the Resistance will provide support on frequency 12033. Really? This is Steve. Diane? If I know Diane, she's gone shopping and won't have come back yet? <laughs> what? You can dial Diane and get some help. Oh, Diane's out shopping. It's like, I've never heard that in Metal Gear Solid game before. Like, one of your team members left their post and just went to the store. What the hell? These guys look tougher. Oh, they saw me, but thankfully that didn't. Looking for an unopened box of chocolate bunnies. Okay, so when the left guy looks up, the right guy's looking right. That should give me opportunity. So that should, this should be another checkpoint. What is this? Roof? Maybe this is saying this is the roof? This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. There's a wind barrier on the roof. Look for a bomb blast suit. Oh, that's right. Okay, we can't come up here yet. We will get destroyed. Oh, this can go down as well. Look at that. Go. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should have checked out that other floor. The, the first floor we were on first. Yeah, let's go do that. It was kind of scary because those guys were in there, but... At least we've hit an elevator, which seems to be the checkpoint area of this...
interesting. So those guys are usually on top, but if you come from the top, obviously that's not fair, so they start off on the bottom instead. Oh no, why'd you turn around? What the hell? Supposed to turn around? Got him. Oh, oh, this was that earlier area. Holy crap. There's like a million dudes in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is... Watch out for the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we just wrapped back around. I was going to try to come back here anyways to try out the rooms I hadn't got to try before, but... How does that lead out to the right? There's no... Oh, there must be two rooms, I see. So this is just a room, like a room full of a bunch of enemies. There must be something good in there. I'm just guessing. Oh no. I know that auto heals me, but I just keep paranoid. This gun sucks. I can't wait until we get a better gun. Oh, a suppressor! Okay. Oh, what? Grenade launcher, hell yeah. Of course you need to find grenades. For okay, so now we have a suppressor on our handgun so we can shoot at people without alerting other people. I don't, like I said, I don't remember the suppressor at all from the NES version. So we could do this. Whoop! Okay, my gunshot didn't even come out. And, uh, aside from that... I don't know. I just screwed. I'm gonna go down to the, uh... Ration truck after this so I can restock on Ration. Guys... Cowards. Oh, I could probably open that door now, too. Yep. Wait, did I already? Oh yeah, I must have. This, this was a POW. I had to guess. Damn it, got away. I'll just try again. Here we go. Oh, this isn't where the truck is, that's on the other side. Alright, you know what? Oh, I'd have to take the elevator down. That's right. Just wait until we run into some of the iconic bosses of this game. I thought that the other Metal Gear games had iconic bosses, but just you wait. Just you wait. God damn it. I figured he was gonna turn around.
Yeah, I don't think you get ranks from killing people in this one. I think Mike's right. Or else we would have definitely ranked up by now. That must be entirely based on uh Wait, why is it not letting me through the store? I came in through the right side. What the hell? No way. I thought the whole point is we just opened up a shortcut. Oh no. Or is this a different door? Wait, what's this door? I'm so confused right now. I could have sworn we just came in from the right side. Here. Oh no, I took the elevator down. Duh. Okay, so this is like another, another door that I don't have the key for. This one must require like a level 3 or something. At least. What? Okay, these guys just see you even if they're not looking at I guess that's what makes them brown. I like how the elevator has so many buttons on the outside. It only goes up and down two floors. I think I could just go this way now. Oh, they're both gonna come down, I remember. Did it. There we go, here we go. A box. Here we go, of course. Like I said, like, it's crazy how much the original Metal Gear is, has the same, like, mechanics and ideas as the Metal Gear Solid games. Um, usually if, if there's a game, like an NES game, and then they make like a 3D version of that game years later, it's like really different. It's crazy how similar this is to Metal Gear Solid right off the bat. Like it just, it is Metal Gear already. Just wait until you play Metal Gear 2. I'm definitely interested, because that's the one I, I have no experience with. What am I doing? Let's try calling Diane again. What was her number? 12033. Harvard Box, are you moving house or something? Over. What? Yeah, because you never used a cardboard box, huh? Big boss. What the hell? Diane never answers. What's the point? Look at me. Look at me go. Dude, I'm invincible. I guess we could just go in there. Oh, nope, never mind. They can see me. Actually, I don't know why the other guy didn't say anything. I'm actually starting to run low on ammo. So we're going to start checking out these floors one by one now. Dude, you can't hug the walls to avoid the camera. <laughs> Video games just didn't have that technology yet. Gone, I'm sleepy. But do you feel asleep? Very important. Distinction. Okay, so at that... Mm. Right. Oh wait, they're doing something different now. Okay, they're not all in sync with each other. Or maybe they are. Yeah, here we go. There's like two loops. Two, two. God damn it, I got stuck. Hang on, I got it. Good, we're good. Yo, hell yeah. If 
I have the right key. I don't. Okay. Luckily, you you don't have to be super right on the door to check. Like you could just be pretty, like on like next to it. Or ammo, good. I was running low. I was wondering why you weren't responding to my comments, and I realized I was texting my wife. <laughs> my phone does picture in picture. Oh, oops. That's funny. <laughs> You're like texting your your wife about like cardboard boxes and security cameras. What the hell? I don't know if I could get in there with that. Oh, with the box, duh. The camera doesn't care about no dang box. But now that's how we could get through the past the cameras more easily. Cool. Of course, that's just for C4, which I already had. We did, did figure that trick out in the process. It was worth it. He asked you what you wanted for dinner, and you said cardboard box. Too bad I don't need it. Oh, hey, uh, fire damage. You know what? I completely forgot that today was the Super Bowl. Completely forgot. Walter needs a box to hide in. Uh, making barbecue cheeseburgers. Ooh. Barbecue burgers are good. Barbecue is definitely one of my favorite genres of food. What the hell is- Oh, that was security? Okay. Oh. It was like, okay. I, it, they were invisible beams being emitted, I'm sure, is what was going on there. Why is it until it was too late? What? My bullet went right past him. Oh. Well, oh, that sucked. Now, if I put my cigarette out, watch. Yup, see? You could use the cigarettes to see the beams. I should have figured. It's funny, Big Boss didn't even say anything about this room. You just had to figure that out on your own, I guess. Of course, your health starts to go down. Oh, or did we use up a cigarette? Usually your health starts. You can see where to go. Looks like another prisoner room, doesn't it? Wait, did I get grenades? When did that happen? Cool. Oh, I know you were joking. Fire damage. Barbecue powder is mixed into the meat. Oh. I don't think I've ever uh, had it like that. Yo! We classed up. Now our life bar goes beyond halfway. Yeah, that's really weird. I wonder if they just couldn't... Something about the limited hardware. They couldn't just make it a health bar that gets larger. It had to just be, oh, your health bar can't fill up all the way. See? Well, you know me. Oh, okay. Maybe we're gonna find the level 3 card soon.
Oh no, we need the level 3 card. Okay, we're, we can't go any farther here. We're gonna have to go to another floor. Oh, but here we won't be able to go anywhere, right? Yeah. Far behind my stream, like my YouTube preview replay is. I wonder how that happened. He picked up 22 Xbox 360 games yesterday. Man. That's cool. I never had a 360, uh, and I didn't. I, didn't get to play much of it. But there are some games that are, well, both PS3 and 360 have like a few games that were like still haven't been ported anywhere that I, I would have liked to play. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw and uh, Shadows of the Damned were two of them, which I ended up emulating, but the PS3 emulator is so hard to run that the games were like, they were basically unplayable, but they were like barely playable enough that you could, like, get through the games. Like, they would crash. You, you would play for, like, an hour, and then the, the game would just crash sometimes. And then it would take, like, ten minutes just to boot up, because it had to, like, load all the shaders. And it was just... It, it's a mess. And then the game itself is just really laggy. So that's why I'm glad that um, Grasshopper is actually doing a remaster of Shadows of the Dam themselves. And that's supposed to be coming out this year. I'm going to be really hyped to get to play that. And I'm really glad it's Grasshopper's doing the, their own port, their own remaster, because... What? Oh, that's BS. Okay, whatever. Um... Because... Whenever someone else does a port of a Grasshopper game, it, it's not quite as good, or there's usually some problems to some degree. That member of Foxhound Gray Fox, he's being held in a secret cell. But then whenever Grasshopper does their own ports, like, they usually come out a lot better. Suda himself said, like, if it was up to him, he would oversee every port, especially after the, uh... After the No More Heroes 1 PS3 port came out, which even he doesn't like, he said that don't play that version. Because it is, it is, it, yeah, it has. And funnily enough, Konami's the one who did the port of it. I don't know what team in Konami did, but I know it was, it was a Konami studio. It's, it's got a lot of problems. And Uzi of machine gun. Heavy machine gun. You're at 640 Xbox 360 titles. Wow. Do you, do you have Shadows of the Damned? Is that one of them? Oh wow, we got two POWs back to back. Only way to get to the secret cell is to get caught. What? Oh, that sounds familiar, but how do you get caught without getting killed? There must be like a certain area where you're, you you can get captured without getting killed. Hell yeah. Nice. I think Shadows of the Damned is kind of a little kind of pricey too at this point. It's a little trickier to get, unfortunately. Have it. Uh, I think Killer is Dead was also on 360. I originally played it on PS3 my, when my brother had a working PS3. 
Whoa, why is this area so quiet? Oh, don't move. Oh, here we go. Take him away. We got captured. Okay, we didn't even have to overthink that at all. You always be getting captured in these games. This is Big Boss. Infiltration accomplished. Find the cell where they're holding Gray Fox. Check the walls over. They took all my stuff. I'm gonna have to get back. Okay, we have to find a secret. Oh my god. That's a huge <laughs> secret wall or like a fake wall. Yet over a thousand, but got rid of 300 crop titles and sports games. Oh yeah, yeah. The idea of having a complete collection sounds nice, but it, the, yeah, the fact that a lot of it will be stuff you don't actually want. You made it, rookie. I'm Gray Fox. Okay, here it is, everybody. The huge moment we've all been waiting for. This is Gray Fox. Now you may say, yeah, he looks just like every other POW you've been saving at this point. And to that, I will tell you, yes, you're correct. Metal Gear is the ultimate weapon, an all-terrain, nuclear-equipped, walking battle tank. When it's finished, a nuclear strike can be launched from anywhere on the planet. We must do everything we can to destroy it before it's completed. There's only one way to destroy Metal Gear. And the only person that knows how to do that is Metal Gear's developer, Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar. Dr. Ivan Drago. He's being held prisoner somewhere inside this building. Find Dr. Madnar. I need to find another secret wall. Maybe over here. Whoops. How did they put us in here? There's gotta be a door somewhere. Oh, here we go. There we go. First, I need to find my stuff. Yeah, I don't even have cards or anything. If we live near each other, I would let you borrow games for your stream. I appreciate that. Thank you. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's you know, no problem. The Shot Maker. Okay, this guy had definitely had a different name in the NES version. I think he was like Big Shot or like... It, it definitely had Shot in the name. But here we go, first boss fight. Is, ever, is everyone ready? No one has ever escaped from here. He does big old shotgun bless. Oh god, I hope we save checkpointed somewhere good. Oh, I guess you don't fight him. I thought I had to punch him. Please be a good checkpoint. Please don't take me back to the elevator. Okay, thank you. That would have sucked otherwise. Yeah, Shoot Gunner. That's what his name was. That's what his name was in the NES version. It was Shoot Gunner. Because they had like a lot of dumb names and like that was one of them. So funny. That's so weird that this version... Different. There's Shoot Gunner and then there was uh... In the NES version he's Coward Duck. But I believe in this version it's, it's Dirty Duck. But I always thought that was hilarious. It's like... Oh, what's, what's your code name? Revolver Ocelot, or like, Vulcan Raven. It's like, oh, I'm Coward Duck. Coward. Oh, I do have to fight him, I guess. I just have to get behind him? Not letting me punch him. I don't. 
I, okay, I can't punch him. It didn't let me go through the door. I, I thought I remembered having a weapon when fighting. Let me check one more time, make sure I can't actually get through the store. Yeah, you can. Shot maker. Oh! Okay. I couldn't- okay, there is my stuff. I couldn't go through the first door. Alright, well... This guy's kind of screwed, isn't he? I have a freaking grenade. I don't know if it's easy to find more grenades, though. Maybe I should be careful about. Oh, what is this? Transmitter? Yo, they had a transmitter on me. They were trying to track me. See, even that's something that would it would cross over in the first Metal Gear Solid, where they put a bomb in your stuff. And you get captured in that one. There's so much stuff, it's crazy. And Mike says apparently Metal Gear Solid 2 there's even more going on. Okay, isn't working very well. Oh Wow. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna brute force him from the side, and I'm just gonna... There we go. I just did that. Okay. So... Now hopefully our keys... work. They actually, they do put a transmitter in us uh, the boss puts a transmitter in us in Metal Gear Solid 3, right? I remember that. She sticks a transmitter in us, she like, puts something else in us too. Oh, another card. Nice. I probably didn't have the key, right? So now I, now I have it. Nope. Wow. This requires a super key. A super duper key. Oh, you can't punch the dogs in this one? Can you actually not? What? Maybe I'm just not getting close enough. No, you can't punch the dogs. Lame. Well, at least I know that now. Shoot Gunner. <laughs> Such a dumb name. Okay, the dog just ran off screen. What is this? Like a big old maze. Oh look, look at those dead ends I could have went in. I got lucky. Hang on a second, let me look over here. Yeah, those are like all dead ends it looks like. No! Oh, this was the basement the whole time. Okay, well good thing I didn't go down there first. I try to... Like, I don't remember all the areas where I wasn't able to open doors. That might be one. Okay. No, I feel like we were able to get in. Pretty... Uh, damn Alright. Alright, don't make a big deal out of it. 
We went through an elevator again, so that means we've been checkpointed. As far as I can. In fact, maybe it would have been better to die, because then I would have been in the same place but with more rations. No, I'm gonna play risky, and then if I die, it's like whatever. What are these guys doing? Nope. Yeah. I'm actually would like if they killed me. Then I could be in the same area but with uh, more rations. G-I-J. If I'm G.I.J., then who would be the Cobra Commander? Who would be my, my mortal enemy? Didn't they randomly make a G.I. Joe movie just about one of the ninja care like the ninjas? Whose idea was that? That's so random. Sure, a popular character, but okay. well, I don't have any of the keys for these doors. The hell, but I guess. Do you think I'll have a greater appreciation for the overarching story after playing the first two Metal Gear games? Check this area, there's probably some door here I wasn't able to open. Snake! Yay! I love ration, yes I do. I love rations more than you. There we go. Now we're making progress. Uh-oh. I'd rather be prepared for that. Ah, see, they wanted you to go le left. He still... He still saw me, <laughs> either way, but... The sneaky one. What's Walter's favorite treats? Uh, any food that's not his food, because he always tries to eat it. I don't know, we give him like little... There's this one treat we give him that's like, like beef jerky, but for dogs. I know he likes that. Wait a second. Oh, there's a bunch of people sleeping in this room with the mines, but I already have mine, so. to the inner courtyard is to parachute in from the roof, okay. So we're gonna need a parachute. 
We already need the bomb jacket because the, the wind... I think that's what they said, right? The wind on that... Something up... I remember in the NES version not really understanding what was going on up there, but you were like blowing up without your bomb jacket. I think it's the wind. Red goggles, huh? So now we can see lasers without having to smoke. Now, what's weird is over here the floor isn't. Like, I wonder if it wants me to blow that up. Even though. Well, since I'm here, I as well give it a shot. Literally. I missed. Oh, they heard that, didn't they? Oh. oh really? This is awful. I didn't think they'd... Well. That was a waste. I don't know why I did that. It's not like the floor was electrocuted. It's just weird that that's set up like that. It must be for something later. We found the goggles for something, for some reason. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm glad I had the right one equipped. Ah, uh, of course. I hate that they just walk into you and you get hurt. A lot of games do that, but it's like... At 2, Metal Gear. Stock on ammo. Ay, ay, ay. I might, I might die here then. What did we even do on this floor? I found those goggles? I think that's it, huh? Those goggles aren't even like. I don't even think you need them because you could just smoke. I think. Maybe I rescued a POW, I don't know. I'm in trouble right now. I don't have any rations and I have really low health. I don't even know if I should checkpoint right now. That might be a bad idea. Maybe I should try to get more rations first. I think there's a ration room down here. This is a different room. Yeah, see, if I'd went that way first, I would have got the goggles. So yeah, yeah, that's just completely optional. I should just, I should just. God damn it! Did I find a POW down here? Can't for the life. Okay, screw it. <sighs> Probably gonna regret this. Okay, now we are saved at low health. Horrible idea. But what I'm gonna try to do is... Find some ration. Sometimes they drop rations, it's just really rare.
God damn it. Well, here we go. Can't go to the roof yet. Now without my bomb jacket. Really? How did that work? Oh, I'm an idiot. I should not have saved that. I should have let them kill me. Like, all I found on there was the goggles. Really? Oh man, this sucks. God damn it, why did I do that? I said what was gonna happen. I said I was gonna re still did it. know if I have the key. Didn't I try this room already? I think I tried this room after getting the three. Maybe not. Really? So if you go that way, they just see you automatically. That's cool. They gave me a hundred ammo. I think the game's feeling sorry for me. And six rations. Oh no, they're doing pity mode. I had no idea that the game did that. Ah. Uh, that's just sad. Well, now I can just rush through at this point because I have like six ra- You can't even hold six rations normally. Just take it. Still can't go through this door, huh? No, it was a one door. Okay, so we have been in here. And I picked up another ration. But yeah, I can just hold I can hold six rations now, just permanently. I hope it didn't like auto drop the difficulty. That would be a pain in the ass. Do I want to go back down here? I don't know. They made everything. Now I can hold way more of everything. Wow. I pressed right on the D pad and the missile flew up. Because the Pro Controller's D-pad sucks. That was really bad. Since, I, since they gave me so many rockets, I was like, screw it. And I'll just back down here. I feel like I've been through both of those doors already, though. Yeah, I would prefer if they asked though, like, oh, do you want us to, like, give you a bunch of stuff for free? Because it wasn't even like, I put myself in a bad situation, 
But it's not like I was, like, really stuck. I was just... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. I need to find a bomb jacket, so I need to... Try the level 3 key in places I haven't tried it yet, I guess. Because otherwise, I don't have really anything new. I just have the goggles. They do nothing. I wonder if anyone caught that reference. Oh yeah, I have a submachine gun now. I should probably use it. I'm not supposed to be here. I might as well pick up a part of these. But... Maybe I was supposed to go back down to the laser room. Because they wouldn't expect you to be able to go through there unless you had the goggles. Not the goggles. Yeah, the goggles. And that's after we get the level 3 key. So I bet you I was supposed to go back through that way. This is just taking me... Yeah, I had no reason to come back this way. really crazy the uh, your R button goes to your weapons and your L button goes to your uh, equipment just like in Metal Gear Solid as well like it's really crazy how much of this is already Metal Gear like I keep saying that but like in the NES version it didn't work like that you didn't there is no L and R button in NES really. I didn't realize the MXX had that I started playing. Okay, so I think we need to go back down. Oh, the L and R it was for the port. Okay, I see. So wait, so then how do you how do you get to those normally? Because one button punches, one button shoots, start goes to this. Oh, you know what? When you pressed start, that probably went to your equipment or weapons, the original version. But in this one, it takes you to this menu. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I think, I'm thinking I am supposed to go down through these. It's like the fact that I knew to use my cigarettes actually ended up screwing me over because I, I went down here sooner than I should have. But at the same time, it's like, well, why give me the option to? That's what. Oh, you bet. I bet you I could go in this door now. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's just a level one door. Yeah. Okay, maybe... Come on, baby. Yes! Finally. I mean, it's just a POW, but... And we ranked up again. Dr. Madner is being held in the cell located in the inner courtyard. I totally know where that is. Definitely been in a courtyard. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm the machine gun kid. 
This is the end of the line for you. I think this might be another name that was changed. Oh no, however will I defeat Machine Gun Kid? However will I defeat him? However, I ask you. Whatever will I do? He's invincible. Oh. I'm just defenseless. I, I don't stand a chance. Oh, he's dead. Oh, parachute. Okay, we have the parachute for the roof jump. Now we just need the, the, the blast suit. Hopefully we'll find that. Oh, I don't have the key for this room. No. I have the parachute, but I still don't have the blast suit. I don't think you can just brute force the rooftop. I think you need the blast jacket. Or bomb jacket, whatever the hell it's called. I'm pretty sure I need to find that. Holy crap, we hold that much ammo? You know what? Maybe my, my capacity increased off of ranking up. And the game just refilled my stuff fully, basically, what happened, I think. Just, so that I think that's what happened. You know what? We didn't check out the basement completely. I, I, I assumed that the rest were all dead ends, but I bet you there was one other pathway. That's probably where we find the bomb jacket. I don't know though, these really all just look like dead ends. I'll be real. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, this is where we fought that guy. See how I would get in here actually. Probably the one corner I haven't checked yet. Wow, wait a second. Oh that's right, this is where I need to parachute into. That's that's what this room is. Cause there's just walls. Oh, there's a door here I never saw. Here we go. I bet you I need to go through this door. No, I can't go through this door. Really? God damn it. I noticed this door here. But... Alright, I'm gonna check this other side out real quick. Extra. That's where I got my stuff back, so it's not there. Yeah, there. Wait a second. What? Oh, it's just ammo. I'm gonna check this door again. I'm pretty sure I already tried it, but... Okay, so this is where we need to parachute into. That This is the courtyard. I didn't realize this was outside. This looks like inside to me. It's 
So there's still some level 3 door. You know what? I bet you it's like way in the, the earlier area. Liquid Snake isn't in this game. He wasn't born yet. Let me think here. I'm honestly thinking maybe I should go back to the... Okay. Okay. I don't care if you say me. Oh, I'm sorry, Snake. I can beat everyone with my hands tied behind my back. Just to double confirm, I don't think I could go through either of these doors yet. Pretty sure I went down here already. I remember this camera's in trouble. For the next one. See, I feel like I've been in here a million times too, though. There's, there's this one area that leads back to the earlier area, like a shortcut. I think that's what I want to do. I think it might be over here. I don't know. I don't know anymore, man. Oh no! Oh no, if only I had six rations. Wait. No, nope, this is not. This is nothing. Yeah, this is. But not this way. They saw me, what will I do? Is it here that we can shortcut back? No, because that door went open. Okay, so maybe down this way? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, this isn't a shortcut back, but it's... So yeah, I guess I do need to come this way. Because I've checked out every other area as far as I can tell. So I, I was actually supposed to come back through here. God damn it. I blew it up and then I left so it, it reset. gas room, right. This is where I turned around and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going back for no reason. But I think I think there is a reason. I'm pretty sure I've been through that door, but we'll check any... Really? There it is, yeah. POW. Now... Yeah, we've been in there. Oh, that door didn't open though, did it? The, the door going to the right, I don't think this one opened. Oh yeah.
Oh, this was the shortcut. It was like an even earlier shortcut. I was thinking. Wow. Wait, why does this also lead to the rooftop? Wait, 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 wait. Is this a one way? This was the shortcut I was thinking of, but for some reason it doesn't let you go back through this way. Now it's working, why, why, why did it stop working? I definitely tried all my cards there, so hang on a second, we don't wanna go that way. I'll just end up back where I was. I think the game glitched, for some reason it wasn't letting me, it wasn't reading my card. That's weird. That's bizarre. Yeah, because I think we want to go all the way back to the first area. There's probably a level 3 door there that we'll find our bomber jacket. How dare this 30 year old game have not perfect everything. I still don't have the right card for this part. Oh, damn. Well, been looking good for old Jay. This is like the very first area too. I go down this way. This is, but at least it makes everyone go away. Okay, how about this? Oh, it's just a level one door. Man, I don't know where the hell that bomber jacket is. Some room somewhere that I haven't used a level three on yet. Think here. Cause that was that's oh wait there's another door on the I just noticed there's a door going down as well. But still nothing. Alright, well, the first area we can confirm. There is a door that needs something higher than a level 3 card, but we don't have that. I don't care if the camera sees me, I'm not waiting. Okay, so we came up there. Oh, well, then maybe this door will work now, since it wasn't working before. Yeah, but it's one we've already been into. And neither of those doors were working a minute ago. I don't know why they just decided to stop working. So that was confusing me, because, like, oh, I guess those are doors that need higher level keys. Now this would just go back to the first area again, obviously, but... I'm off. Man, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna check out the roof. Hey, you save on the elevator anyway, so if I die, then whatever. But I'm pretty sure I need my bomb jacket, like they were saying. Screw it. No, yep, that's what it is. It just pushes you back. Yeah, so I know, I need the bomb jacket, for sure. What the hell am I missing? 
run through here again. I'm just gonna go over here again, I guess. Oh, you know what? Gosh, Kevin, can't you see? Can't you see what you're doing to me? I wonder if Diane will pick up now and maybe she'll tell me where the freaking bomb jacket is, but probably not. 2033, I think it was. No one answers, I don't think that's right. I don't remember what it was. Oh well. We never got to call Diane, we called her once and she said, they said she was out shopping. Oh, that's what happens there. I thought only the gray floor got electrified. The door I can't open. Am I gonna have to look up where the hell the bomber jacket is? Like, I'm wasting so much time just wandering around this place. Ah. I'm getting tired of being sneaky. Or I've just been running through taking damage. having to do that but I, I just don't know where to look I can't know I can't in here already because this is where I found the parachute so this is another waste of time fought that boss, and that's where we found the, the uh, parachute, and then here I didn't have the key for this door. Yeah, so, right, let me let the cat out. I'm just gonna look. I'm gonna look where the hell this bomb jacket thing is. There was like 20, 30 minutes just I'm trying to find that. We could be. So we can just look up a video real quick. They're, they're class two right now. So, oh, it's they have the suit already. When the hell did they get that? Uniform. They have a uniform and, and this looks different. Yeah, this must be the original MSX version. The, the UI for the menu, or like the inventory is. 
looks very different. I need to figure out when they got the bomber suit. They still have the bomber suit. What the hell? I'm going like really far back. They must have got it really early on. Okay, they're in the basement. Oh! Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, I... I thought about trying this, but I thought because they described getting into... Like you had to parachute. Oh my god. Oh, this, okay, no, this is actually crazy. This is actually crazy that they would expect you to know what to do here. I thought maybe it was like punching a wall situation. And I thought about this potentially being something you had to do, but. This is like some Zelda NES nonsense, except it's worse because you're, it's in very, it's in a very specific place. In a game where you're not really having to do that anywhere else as far as I could see. Nobody gave a hint about that either. If someone gave a hint about that, I was like, okay, I would have at least been able to try. But watch. And you see this is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so we do have to go to the basement. In fact, because of another hint they gave, it made me not try this. And you'll, you'll see in a second. Okay. So yeah, these walls that I was like, oh, it's like, it's just like a barrier. And I get through and first I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh wait, they said you have to parachute in. Oh, okay, that's what they were talking about. Uh, it turns out no. You have to break through. You can't punch. You have to use C4. Plastic explosives, rather. And it has to be in the right spot. That wasn't the right spot, apparently. Okay, maybe I should have left the video open because I don't even know. <laughs> how would you know where to do it? How would you know to do it, and then how would you know where to do it? You would have to, like, make a take a wild guess. And assume you're not just wasting stuff. Okay, it's one screen down. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well that took care of two problems at once, didn't it? Maybe when you punch the wall, it sounds different. You can barely hear it over the music. But yeah, so that's what it is. It's, it's... Oops. I'm assuming... It's gotta be that it makes a noise, right? Yeah, okay. See, before you would punch and it would do a question mark and then you just keep punching and it breaks open, but now we have to do the C4. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough. Man, I can't believe they... I can't believe they misled me. I took it wrong, but I think if you got a parachute, you would figure to use it on the roof anyway, so that wasn't super necessary. I'm guessing this is going to lead to the 
bomb jacket, which we've been needing this whole time. Watch me. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now we can just go to the roof. Wow. It does take me back to the first time playing Metal Gear Solid 1 where I, I think I might have missed the instructions. I was stuck for a long time at that part where you need to blow up the wall in the armory floor so that you can get to where a revolver ocelot is with the uh I think the DARPA chip. Of course that was just one wall you had to blow up and if they told you what room it was in you would have known where to look. And if you look right at it the wall actually has like it looks like it's been freshly like cemented over. You have to look in like first person to see it. Alright, at least we gotta go right to the rough from here. Ooh. He got the bomber jacket way before I did, so he's probably doing other stuff still. Yeah, he just got up to the rooftop. Yeah, I'm not even halfway through, so maybe this will be a two-stream game. out our option. Hey. Oh, I need to put this back on, don't I? Maybe once you're up here, you don't need to wear it anymore. Because what is it going to push me down to, exactly? I'm already on the roof area. Might just be that area. No, actually, it might blow you off the roof and kill you, so I'd better not risk it. Oh, wow, I forgot about that part. There's like a rickety bridge. the rickety bridge is where we want to progress. Thanks for saving me. If you have a parachute, you can jump off the from the edge of the barrier. But where is the edge of the barrier? I don't remember parachuting in the NES game. I think that's that's just in this one. Maybe you have to cross the bridge and you get there. 
I just remember you have to be careful here because you can fall off and die. Gotta be really careful. If the way these controls are, I don't want to risk it. Oh, of course, there's more. Oh, I forgot about the jetpack dudes. Disgusting. Um, holy crap, go away. Oh, what the hell's this? Oh, it's a boss fight. Uh. I used. That didn't seem like it worked though, did it? Try one more. Yeah, no, that doesn't look like it's doing anything. I think you need a specific, like a, a, like a bazooka to fight this, if I remember correctly. I think we need to come back to this. We need to come back. Okay, how am I supposed to avoid these guys? They could see over everything. Pretty easy. Oh, get out of here with that. Boo. So that, this is what they were for. Not the, not the plane. We're, we're gonna get the weapon we need to fight that in here, probably. Ah, this is rough. Oh, what? get out of here. They're gonna kill me. I, I moved, so if you move, you it skips whatever you just picked up. What did I just pick up? A mind detector? I haven't had to use a mind detector. What the heck? I have not been to an area where there's mines. That must be for after you parachute off? What's a Russian gunship doing here? What's a Russian gunship doing here? Metal Gear. Maybe I need to parachute off somewhere, I don't know. Maybe you parachute off the bridge. Maybe I can fight this thing. Yeah, because I can avoid the bullets. I think I need a bazooka though. So like, or maybe C4, or maybe mines. Let's see. Let's see if it does anything, if I could plant this near it. I don't know how I... No, I can't even plant it near it safely, so... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I need a special weapon for that. These guys suck. They just can see you. And there's nothing you can do about it. This is really stupid, but I want to try to parachute off of this. Oh, it worked! I don't know where I'm going, but... What? Down here? I was supposed to parachute off the other bridge, I guess. Well, alright. Because it could have been worse. You'd think the first bridge would have been the one that sent you to the wrong area, not the second one. Two more of these, I should actually. But. One more. Alright, now we gotta get back to the rooftop. Hopefully, the uh, shortcut works this time and it doesn't just block me off for no reason. Of course, these guys are... 
Yeah, because I can't go through that way still. If I had a level 4 card, probably I could, but I, I don't have that. Had to get to this elevator. And I bet once I parachute down to that area that I couldn't get to before, it'll probably lead me to uh, the weapon I need to fight that plane. If I had to make a wild guess. Alright, so I believe I just need to parachute off of this first bridge, because this is above the other one. So it should be the next screen up, which is where I need to go. What? Really? It's still... Okay, it was higher up, but it wasn't... It still wasn't high enough up. But how could I fall any higher than that? That's the highest the bridge part. I still don't know what the point of that mine detector is when I haven't gotten to this place yet with mine. Oh, you know what? Probably when I do parachute to the right place. But, uh... I'm gonna have to actually do that first. Someone just won a Super Bowl. I just heard a firework go off. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could walk off up here? No. Oh boy. Oops. Oh, I wonder if I can use that on the plane. I forgot I had that. I'm an idiot. That probably is exactly what I'm supposed to be. back down to the plane. Actually, I should wear the parachute just in case I fall off because they're also, I'm pretty sure I'll die. Actually, it'd be better if I just died. Then I would respawn at the elevator. So, you know what? I should... Let's see if this is what I was supposed to be using. I am so- I'm pretty sure this is- That's exactly what I was supposed to be using. There's probably another bridge behind this too. I completely forgot. I knew that it was some weapon. I forgot I had this grenade launcher because I haven't been using it. I completely forgot about it. Oh, let me just stand there. Everyone knows that- Snake fights armed weaponry with grenades. I think I had plenty of ammo. Uh, is that where I parachute off? Yep. Okay. So here, there we go. I was actually exactly right. It was right behind where the that 
airplane boss was. Open that door. We're probably gonna find the level three card pretty soon. If I had to make a big smelly guess. There's gotta be mines down here. There we go. Arg, the truck's been moved. Oh, I remember this from the original. Damn it, I should have went the other one first. No! It was a trick. They sent me all the way back here. Man, this game's dirty. This game's dirty. I can't believe this. I wonder if I could have opened a hole in the fence or something to shortcut back. Probably not. I remember the arc the truck's been moved. But it was used in a completely different context. Alright, I mean, at least we know where we're going now. I should have just died on purpose and then would have checkpointed me back to the elevator, which would have led right to the rooftop, but now I've gone to another elevator. So that's a new checkpoint, so I can't do that now. Oh well, it's like right over here anyway. That is such a beginner's trap. So right here, I'm I'm not gonna put the parachute on just in case, because it actually would be faster if I died, because then I'd be right at the elevator. If I parachute down, then I have to go all the way around to the backtrack. I was about to say, at least these guys always miss you, but then that happens. Parachute down from here. try to go in there. You know what? We're about to find the level 4 card, aren't we? That's probably what's down here. The... In the truck that's surrounded by mines. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Like I thought. Dr. Madinar, was I too late? Oh, he was supposed to be in here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Probably go through these two, though. Okay. Ah, so that leads to that room, I see. Thank you for helping me. Dr. Madinar was just transferred to building two. 
The lean is located 10 kilometers north of here. You think that would be a good a good place to uh take a break for next time when I get the building too? I, I just remembered that in the, in the NES game. I think you also go to a building too. Whoa! Yeah, I think this is gonna lead us. If I remember correctly, because otherwise it just repeats. Oh, there's mines. The truck have started to move. Oh, that's right. That's what the NES version says, huh? Arr, the truck have started to... Oh, it just sends you back here? Are you serious? Okay, well, that's fine, because we have the level 4 card now, so... Well, ran right over a mine like a big dummy. Oh, wait, it put you over here, though. That's funny. I thought it put me on the bottom area at first. So I guess we could just... Holy crap, there are so many mines I was avoiding by coming. Oh, not that one. I was expertly avoiding the mine, not even seeing them. Here we go. Ration supply, baby. Missiles. Uh oh. This is a boss. Pretty sure we already know what to use. I thought the missiles didn't work against the plane. Yeah, I think I remember now you always use the grenades on these. Holy crap! I'm an idiot. I had the mine detector on still instead of my. Oh, it checkpointed me here. Cool. A nice checkpoint. The only checkpoints I knew for sure were the elevators, but. Every once in a while you get a, a different check. It didn't look like the tank was actually getting hurt by that, though. Should be able to. Maybe I just missed. Try that again. Uh, it doesn't look like it's getting hurt at all. Oh, you have to set mines for the tank. I remember now. I remember. Oh, it didn't run over it. Hell yeah. It's just a little bit too. It was just a little too far. There we go. Well, hopefully I have enough mines. Save for that one that I botched. Oh no! I guess if it runs you over, that's an auto kill. Even though I was next to it. Well, okay, there you go. At least I don't... I'll get that mine back that I accidentally wasted. For all you know, you need all ten to kill it too. Maybe, maybe you can't even hit it with two in a row. I have no idea. Find out in a second. Mine. 
all its bullets could go through the wall like that. Oh god, I hope those are low enough. No, I think he could come down farther, he just didn't do it that time. There we go. One. Oh no! I probably just reset the fight. God damn it. I might as well let him kill me now. Let's see, if this one mine doesn't kill him. I don't think plastic explosives will hurt him either. We might as well try since I screwed up. Oh, my mind vanished when I pulled the plastic explosive out. Yeah, we just, we'll just die. Wait, you could run past it? You can run past it if you get hurt. Should I just do that? That'd be faster. Forget it. I might just run past it, honestly. While you're invincible. Only thing is, it'll be there if I try to go back that way, but I don't think you have to. I think after this point, you just keep going forward, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, I think you need to do one mine at a time. I don't think it actually... I don't think they stack. Ow! I can't believe one of those actually hit me. Go ahead. Oh no. Oh no, I guess I just had it perfectly timed before when I ran through. Okay, whatever, I'll just fight him properly. Ah, man, this is part's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't remember it being like that in the NES version. I can't believe that the NES version turned out to be the superior one all along. Never would have guessed. No, but apparently this is based on a flip phone version, so... I'm sure the original MSX one's better. Konami, you don't make sense. I'm gonna do one mine at a time, because I'm paranoid now that... No, I'm not. I do more than one. I don't care. <laughs> No way that they're not all counting. Well, okay. You did have to do one at a time. Cool. Okay. Ah, oh, I let go of up for a second because I hesitated. I would have made it. Yeah, you have to do one mine at a time. Unless there's a way for me to get more mines over here. Damn it! Going crazy. The other, the other truck on the left probably has mines in. It. I think it's just the one on the right that does that to you. There ought to be. No, see, those are plastic explosives, which we already tried. Doesn't work on the tank. Wait, I could hold nine rations now? Why did I think I could only hold six? Maybe they do increase your your if when they pity you. Yeah, I have fifteen mines now, so. Oh well. Or maybe I could... I don't know. Who cares? You know what? I'm gonna check real quick. I just wanna see if you can do more than one mine at a time, or if you have to do one at a time. Alright, let's... No, the person in this video does three at a time. You just need, you need more than 10 to beat it. 
need a ridiculous amount. Okay, fair enough. Now I know. I should have just, when I ran through it, when I accidentally, like, damage boosted, I should have just kept going. I don't know why I turned around. I wanted to see if the tank was gone, I think. Like, if it just loaded it out because it thought I beat it already. Apparently not. Dude, come forward. Oh, you freaking... Come on. Oh, you jerk. Come on, come forward. Wow. This stupid tank. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the next three should kill it. I guess means it takes 12. Oh, of course! It was the one time where it immediately zooms back out. Man, screw this tank. Tank sucks. I hate this. I don't like this. Stop moving. I'm falling from the traffic. Watch when he when he takes forever to come down that far now though. Yep, see I knew it. He was gonna stop right a pixel away. There you go. Come on. Do it again. There you go. You don't feel good to run over mines? I went really far back that time. There you go. Three more ought to do it. Come on. Come on. No, you wanna. No, you wanna. Yes! Finally. Tank is gone. It seems that. God damn it! I hate that, like, if you press the D-pad when there's text, it skips the text. So let me, sorry, let me look at my replay on YouTube. We'll read that. It seems... It seems that Foxhound is trying to infiltrate the base. Whatever you do, do not let them through. They must be talking about us. There's a sign that says snake not allowed, crossed out, and snake says, I wonder who that's for. This is big boss, inspections, wear the enemy uniform and infiltrate. Oh no, I never found. What? Let's use 12013 for all communications from now on, why? Jay said doo-doo. I swear if I needed to have found the uniform, which that guy had the uniform, but I don't have the damn uniform. I just set a mine by accident, didn't I? Or whatever. Screw it. I'm not going back for the stupid uniform. Are they not going to let me in unless I have a uniform? Are you kidding me? I have to go all the way back now? Because I never found the uniform? Oh my god. Why would they let you come all the way to building 2 without the thing you need to get in? Okay, hang on. No, yeah, this literally, that's just what happened. Cool. Awesome. I thought we were finally at a good break point. No, I need to go back and... Great. Ah. Okay. I'm just checking where to refine the uniform. I'm not. I've already wasted enough time. The 
Okay, so when this guy has the bomber suit, he already has the uniform, so where the hell did he get the uniform from? Let's see. Yeah, he already has the uniform before he's in the basement getting the bomber suit, so that must be before the boss fight. Oh no. Wait. Oh, this is plastic. Okay, so before that. Wait a second. Um. Oh my god. It is- oh my god, it's in the basement. It's in the basement and another secret wall. Oh, And I gotta go all the way back to that now. Wow. Let's just run across the desert. Holy crap. That sucks. Hang on. I don't know if it would actually be faster for me to, like, ride the truck, but no, it wouldn't. No, actually, that would be worse. It would take me too far back. Ah. Oh, ay Dios mío. Everything's fine. Everything's hunky dory. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 yeah, I do want to go this way. It's just these guys are there. Also, wait. No, no, I want to go the other way. Going to the basement. Oh, I. Ah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just green. Here we go. Man, I I really wish Big Boss would have mentioned. Oh, the uniform is in the basement, hidden somewhere secret. Then I would have thought, okay, better check every single wall. Apparently, like. I'm supposed to blow it up. Yeah, you probably do. Yeah, so there is the uniform. So obvious. I should have realized. <laughs> Any un enemy uniform question mark? The dogs can recognize me, right? They should have had their dog better trained to not attack people in uniform, you know? So... I think this is the right way? Yeah. I guess that's specifically the uniform for people in building too. At least the tank is already taken care of. We did end up having to go back. So if I had damage boosted, it wouldn't have done me any good anyways. Yeah, if I had not just checked to see where that uniform was, I probably never would have found that. I think they give you the card, actually, don't they? Let's see. Go on in. Oh no, they just let you in. That's what it is. Okay, so this is probably a new safe spot. Oh, this is that stuff that kills you slowly. I think. The water, for some reason, is like poisonous. Because in the NES game, you're supposed to get something 
Maybe it's just that you're swimming underwater for too long. But... Oh, now they don't... Only the people in the front does that uniform work on, of course. Um... There's a point where you need to swim across a long stretch of water. And in this one, I think you get like scuba gear or something to actually swim through. In the NES version, that item is just missing for some reason. Like they forgot to make it obtainable. So you just have to brute force it by, um, by just having a lot of rations. That's later though. Okay. Uh, grenade launcher? Damn it. Okay, I didn't leave. It's gonna kill me though. Okay, great. Well, this will uh, confirm if that is a checkpoint. Yep, it better have been. Punch of the wall, punch of your buns. What was in here? Probably oh, just like stuff. So I couldn't destroy that thing in time with just my grenades. Considering I just picked up mines, maybe I, maybe I should put mines in front of it. Maybe mines are stronger. I don't have that many though. Nope, that didn't do anything. had to like spam it. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay, we just canceled it. Cancel that order. checkpoint of course. Now this, you know what's funny? This building too looks more familiar to me than the first building did relative to the original, uh, not the original, but the NES version. So I don't know if I should take a break now or just try to push through and finish the game tonight yeah this is where you needed a you need a special item to get through but in the nes version you just you just brute force it with ration i feel like we're already getting close to the end but i don't know i could be completely wrong maybe not like close to the end end but like getting This, this version might have more to it. I need a new card. Like, I feel like there's only like five or six level cards. I could be wrong though. I think there's like eight. They forget very quickly building. Wow. Yeah, I need a new card. Let me check real quick, see how far I am relative to uh Fighting the tank. According to this, I'm about halfway through, it looks like. So... 
me almost three hours to do half of it, then yeah, maybe this would be a good place to, uh, so next time we get to the elevator again, we'll, we'll stop here and finish it next time. That way we have plenty of time to just get through it. I do remember it taking me a little while to get through the NES version. Like, I remember writing down passwords. In that game, every time you saved, you had to write down a password. A very long password. I have the passwords written down. I think it's in, like, a... in the dust cover where the NES game is. Also, that was fun fact. That was one of my very first NES games that I that I first got from the swap meet slash flea market when I first started like getting really into like NES as a teenager. Wow, where the hell is that level five card key at? None of these doors are letting me go. In. Let me check this again. Nothing's working. You know what? It's on a different floor. That's where it is. I should have went into the elevator first. This has to open though, because isn't this where I came in from? Oh, wait. Oh! Looks like an antenna. It is an antenna. This is Big Boss. They are trying to jam our signal, but we are okay on this frequency. You should have said that earlier. He just said, let's switch for no reason. And then 20 minutes later, he's like, oh yeah, by the way, the reason why we switched is because they're trying to jam us. Okay. Cool. Elevators over here, so. Me, real quick, I want to check out. Oh, I can't go down. Check. Real quick to make sure. It's still not letting me go down. What the heck? You can only go up. Another glitch. Kind of elevator only lets you go up. over my suppressor. I should... I was about to say I should realize none of these doors are gonna... Who the hell's that? Oh, this is a boss. It's like two guys, right? They work together. They're invincible for some reason. I feel like you're supposed to... this on them. Just invincible. Maybe mines? I wonder if you call the boss if he says something about it. Nope. And Diane's still out shopping. So. Wasn't she on 30?
Oh, these guys are tough. They're tougher than the rest. I bet you I could blow this wall up. Probably not, but let's try anyway. Let's try. It looked blow upable. I wasn't ready to go up here. What? Boo. All right, you know we'll just we'll just stop here anyways because this is a checkpoint. We're about halfway through. We just have to do building two. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably finish the game up tomorrow. Ow! Just gave myself a little paper cut. Um. But yeah. I hate to stop because there's a you know people watching, but you know. I will probably continue this tomorrow, so if you guys want to tune in to see the ending, feel free to do that. But until then, hope you guys had a good weekend, and you have a good start to your week, and I'll catch y'all next time.